What's up Gears fans, Dragonius again, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about the March update, specifically talking to you about the Nasher update that it entails. Let's get to it. So lo and behold, we finally get a Nasher update, and it is a doozy. Take a look at this picture. On the left, you can clearly see how the Nasher used to function before the March update, and on the right, you see how it's going to from here on after. Seems kind of weird that it didn't work that way all the time, huh? But it definitely makes sense as to why we, as a community, would feel that our shots would be missing when we clearly hit people. So on the left, you can see that where the bullets are coming from, noted by those green lines, is actually near the base of the gun, like where you load and pull the trigger from, instead of where the muzzle is, which seems more intuitive. Now that they've changed it, the spread is actually going to be a lot tighter from the base muzzle of the gun, which means that since your spread is tighter, your bullet pellets are going to be more on point of what's definitely in front of you, which means less spread, which means more kills, which means people, if you miss a shot, it's on you, it's not the game anymore. Moving on, we're going to talk about the gear packs, because they definitely have heard your cries community, and they have made some changes, and a good ones they are. First and foremost, some of the bigger notable changes are going to be coming to the Elite Packs. So while Elite Packs still carry Series 2 cards, we're now going to be getting, in those, a price reduction from 3500 to two grand, and that's going to be moving forward across the board. They also note that they're going to start doing things where if you buy numerous packs with real money, they're going to compensate you with a free pack or give you some certain kinds of discounts and deal bonuses to kind of incentivize you to spend real money if you decide you want to. You're never going to have to. Another big update to this is that all future specialty packs like the UIR packs, mystery packs and stuff like that are going to stay too grand because of the shortened windows that those events are going to have. I think this is a lot more fair and I personally never bought a single UIR pack with credits or money because the pricing was so ridiculous for the random number generator that we have to deal with when opening these packs. The esports packs are also getting a change and the TLDR behind this one is pretty much you're not going to have any more chance of getting something that isn't esports related for your $10. That for me is the biggest change and the most welcome one of all the gear pack changes. I for one was tired of spending any kind of actual money on a gears pack for esports. I'm fine with giving money to the players and helping the prize pools and keeping this game going and the community going. Never was a problem with that. My problem as the end consumer was my chances of getting a card I actually wanted were slim to none, and my chances of getting random gear I could just as easily get from an operations pack with credits didn't make it fun for me. Now that they've changed it to guarantee all esports stuff, whether it's community esports like the Mexico City stuff or the upcoming Atlantic City stuff, I'm sure, that's a lot better for me. And you're guaranteed to get Series 1, 2, and 3 stuff in some kind of mixing from the new esports packs from here on out. I'm a big fan, hope you guys are too comment section below you know what to do this next segment is for all my fans out there of the versus core and competitive playlists you guys are now going to get ranked lobbies Woo! ranked lobbies are cool in that it's a rolling ranked lobby so once you finish a game you don't have to back out to the menu and then restart a search you're going to get thrown back into a lobby where you can vote for a map and continue the process or if you want just leave from the lobby and last, but certainly not least, we're gonna talk about the new upcoming characters. Yes, characters. I know it seems a little weird that one of the biggest things and hypest things about this game is just the swag effect, as I'll call it, just for looking a certain way or having a certain style, but come on, we're all vain people when it comes to showing off our gear's pleasure. I mean, hello? From this video released by the Coalition, you can clearly see that coming to us for sure is going to be a vintage Baird, and I like that we're getting a lot of these vintage characters for like the older series, and we're getting legacy characters too. Like we already have Dizzy, and we got Anya, and we got Sam. I'm a fan of all this kind of stuff. Just the same way I'm a fan of all the UIR stuff that keeps coming out. What I do like is that they are introducing, finally, legacy locust characters. And we've got a hint and a teaser noted by this picture here of what one might be. I know it basically looks like a drone, but one can always hope that it ends up being something cool like Rom, Scourge, or hell even Karn, I'll take him. 
Uh, Mira, I'm sorry, I'm just not a huge fan of getting Mira just yet. I want a couple of the other big bads before we really go to Mira. I feel like she's more of an endgame kind of character release for the Locust. In addition to that, the Coalition promises we're getting a lot more skins, which I'm definitely a fan of the way I was with this previous series of drops that included more than just Lancer, Nasher, and Pistol skins, where we now finally have a nice pool of skins for weapons like the Enforcer and the Overkill. I think that's a nice touch and I want to see that continue going forward. And last, but certainly not least, one of my favorite changes that they've actually implemented is that third week after any title update, we're going to get a versus multiplayer event, and the fourth week after any title update, we're getting a horde multiplayer event. I totally dig this because it really feels like it just brings the community back together just before a new update comes out, more maps come out, and it feels just like it keeps the game fresh. I totally dig it. Coalition. Please keep up listening to the community, you guys have been great about that so far, and I'm totally digging the changes that have been made since the game's launch back in October. That's all I've got for today guys, come back for more Gears content in the future. If you'd like this video, you know what to do, smash that like button, comments in the section down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content on Gears and whatever else I happen to do. Until then, I've been your humble host Dragonius, and I'll catch you all on the next episode of Whatever I Do. Toodles!